test the convergence of the series whose nth term is 1 by n sin 1 by n. So since this is the nth term, we can consider our mu n as 1 by n sin 1 by n. So we know that sin x is equal to x minus x cube by 3 factorial plus x power 5 by 5 factorial and it goes on like this. So in the series when you consider your x is equal to 1 by n. So I am going to replace this sine 1 by n by this expression in this un. So now my un is equal to 1 by n into 1 minus 1 by n. It is x. So it is 1 by n minus x cube is 1 by n cube into 3 factorial plus x power 5 is 1 by n power 5 into 5 factorial and it goes on like this. So now I am going to take 1 by n commonly outside. So I will get here 1 by n square into 1 minus 1 by n square into 3 factorial plus 1 by n power 4 into 5 factorial plus etc. So now I am going to consider my vn as 1 by n square. So I have my un, I have my vn. So, I have to apply this in my comparison test and I have to find limit of n tending to infinity of un by vn. Now, I have my un and vn. Limit of n tending to infinity of un by vn is equal to this by this. Now, I will cancel this 1 by n square, 1 by n square. Here, limit of n tending to infinity. So now I will be getting limit of n tending to infinity of this series. Now when I substitute the value which I get is equal to 1. Here all when I substitute infinity. So the value which I get is 1. So this is finite and non-zero and positive. Okay. So we have to go for P series test to check out whether it converges or diverges. My Vn is 1 by n square. So summation n tending to 1 to infinity of Vn is equal to summation n tending to 1 to infinity of 1 by n square. So now when I compare this with this, I have to find the value of P. So when I compare this with this, this implies that my P is equal to 2 where my P is greater than 1. My P is greater than 1. So when I check out that my P is greater than 1, my Vn is convergent. So when I say my Vn is convergent, it means that Un is convergent. Therefore, Vn. Vn is convergent. Which implies Un is also convergent.